It's okay. It's okay. Okay, we're with Sandy, and we have Demi. Hi, Demi. Hi, beautiful girl. And how old is Demi? Demi is 11 months. Okay, and she's a puppy. She's a, a big puppy. Okay, so tell me why you felt you had to come to dog training classes with Demi. Because she was uh, a loving dog, but she was afraid of everything. Okay. She was, had not been socialized. Um, we were kind of confined to the home somewhat, and she needed, she needed that... Um, dog-to-dog -dog interaction and people interaction. Okay. And she has blossomed. Really? Just coming out, just being, a, you know, she was afraid her first class and then she was wanting to be friends with all the other dogs and then um, you know, she's now greeting people at home. She's greeting Wonderful. people in public. She's, she's happy. So the socialization in the class made a big difference. It's priceless. Really? Right. Wonderful, and we had a pretty big class too, yes, didn't we? we did. Lots of different, lots of different personalities. Lots of different personalities, and she's grown. We've developed. Our bond was strong, but it has developed to be even stronger, um, almost okay. telepathically. Isn't that awesome? It is, and I'm looking forward to 11 years of. Yeah. You know, the next 11 years, much less. Well, I've had only 11 months, but uh -huh. I'm looking forward to many, many years of that bond and and developing her into whatever she can be. Oh, how awesome! So, so what is it you were t you were telling me? Um, I think the third class or so, something that you realized you you did unintentionally with Demi. Oh, uh, well, I was. I'm a cancer survivor, a leukemia survivor, and. I was going through a nurturing stage and I needed to um, uh, take care and I needed something that loved me. I needed something that was just, I, and I just, I took her from an itty bitty puppy uh -huh. and just, that's all I wanted to do was hold her. And love her. And love her and I overspoiled her. And I didn't allow her, I didn't correct the things that I should have corrected because okay. I loved her. Right. I let her stand on me on the sofa, let her oh. do anything she wanted because I loved her. And, and what, did, me. what did you learn in the class? Loving your dog is giving them what? It, it's giving them uh, control. I mean, giving that, loving them is giving them the bond with me, but, um, but it's, you know, it just... I loved him, loved her too much that it was a, it was it hurt her. Right, but so so was it hard to discipline her? No. And discipline is not punishment, correct? No, it is definitely not punishment. It's, right. It's respect, teaching her respect, correct. her respecting me. Correct. And correct. so once we developed that, and it was me changing my mindset. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because she was waiting for anything. Yeah, she she needed to guide it. Yeah, that's all she wanted is me to tell her what I wanted. Yeah. And, and once I knew what I wanted. Yeah, it was nothing. And awesome. she just looked at me like, okay, what do you want me to do now? Yeah, what's next? Yeah, what's that now? So tell me about, you said you had told me about this training compared to other training you've done. What's the difference? Um, I have used many trainings, many times. I've always trained my, my Dobermans, but it was um, control. I mean, it was a, a correction, a strong correction. Ah, uh, okay. And um, it's correction and praise, but not praising the good, it was just correcting the bad. Ah, and there was no positive going on at all? No, only immediately after the correction, but if you can make oh my. positive um, out of everything, right. there's rarely a negative. And she loves working for positive, doesn't she? Oh, does she? Yeah, yeah. isn't that awesome? It is. It I, I, want, I, was, I was so thankful when you told me about that, that, because I don't know how many can really recognize the difference, but the positive reinforcement training is awesome. I have to agree. It is. Jimmy! Hey, hey, darling. And what I, like, what I love, too, is you're making your dog like, bond with you more, and they're not scared. No. No, they're not she scared. She looks at me for trust. Right. And that trust and respect. When, even down to when she's not feeling good, she just comes to me and wants me to just, she wants to be with me just so that I, you know, she knows that I'm going to take care of her. Right. And so you also learn to be her what? Her caregiver, her protector, um, yeah. her everything. And awesome, awesome. We're going to be a, the team that is yes. going to be unbelievable. Yes, you will. Yes, you are. I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so thank excited. You. Well, congratulations you. for graduating. Thank and you. thank you so much for sharing that with everybody. And I'm so proud that you're a cancer survivor. I've got the last test results yesterday, and my CT scan is absolutely normal. Congratulations. So awesome. Normal. Awesome. Well, consider her a blessing from God. She was. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks.